Hey guys, James Reeves with TFB TV here in lovely Switzerland visiting B&T, one of my favorite manufacturers. I want to talk to you guys about a gun. This isn't really a review because this is a new gun that's coming out. I got to shoot a prototype quite extensively, in fact, hundreds of rounds over several days. It is the B&T TP380. I call it the Swiss Mac 11. It's like a pocket SMG. Literally, like if you look at this picture, we were messing around. Even with an optic on it, you can fold the stock, shove it in your pocket. Now, this is a gun that B&T actually unveiled, I believe at Iwa, back in 2016 or 2017. So it's been in the works for a while, but they haven't produced it yet. They're about to make a small production run. I absolutely love this gun. I know you guys are gonna pick on me for it. First of all, it's an extremely small 380 caliber PCC. 380, why would you do 380, right? Well, it's so much smaller than the TP9. And with 380, you're still getting ballistics that will match, say, FBI terminal ballistic performance tests. You'll penetrate out of a handgun, say a Glock 42. You can penetrate 12 to 14 inches of ballistic gel, get expansion of about half an inch with 90 grain 380 out of, again, a small handgun. Now the TP380 has a five inch barrel, threaded barrel, great, you can run a suppressor on it. So you're going to get a lot better ballistics. I would expect probably 1200 feet per second from 90 grain defensive 380 ACP versus say a thousand or less out of a comparable like three and a half or three and a quarter inch 380 pistol. So you're gonna get more terminal performance, but it only weighs 33 ounces. That's a half pound lighter than a steel 1911. I thought it was really impressive. One of the most impressive things about it was the trigger. So the reset, the trigger reset is so short on the TP380 that you can kind of see, this is two magazines roughly. There's your first trigger pull, there's everything else. There's your first trigger pull, there's everything else. 10 yards, two magazines all dumped into virtually one hole. You, you would think, right? Like this thing's like a, a Swiss Mac 11. You would think maybe it wouldn't be that accurate. Maybe it wouldn't shoot that well. But with the acro on there, uh, 10 yards, like it, it really will throw down. So that was extremely impressive. The more I shoot this thing, the more I like it. It's kind of got a mushy take up that initial trigger pull, but the reset is one of the shortest trigger resets I've ever felt. Dude, first of all, the trigger reset on this is just silly. Like, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but trigger pull, kind of squishy a little, like not your ideal, trigger pull, but the reset, it's right there. Like it's got an amazing reset. And then this is also 10 yards, just kind of dicking around. I mean, you saw like, wow. At 10 yards, we were literally putting entire magazines into one hole. It's going to be available with 15 round magazine that's like almost flush fit, all the way up to a 30 round magazine. I think that there's going to be something in like the 20-ish round range. But as I said, this isn't a full review of this gun. This is just more or less an overview, an announcement that it's about to be introduced in the United States. I got to speak with Carl Brueger personally about the TP380. He gave us a little rundown. Carl, this is the Swiss gangster edition. <laughs> of our coverage at B&T HQ in Switzerland with probably, I, I want to say, the coolest gun that I never even knew existed. What am I holding? I mean, it's like a little mini TP9. Yeah, yeah, we, we call that TP380. We did that seven years ago as we were thinking we could sell it to the South American civilian market. And then out of a sudden, when the thing was ready, we never get an export license. And at that time, BTUSA wasn't strong enough or they didn't like the gun. So, and recently with Sean Sullivan, so he said, hey, when you have that ready, why we don't like to get an approval from ATF as a pistol? And so we did manage to get a pistol version approved for the US, and we will do a first lot of 500 later this year, and we will see if somebody will buy it in the US. I, I, 
this is all news to me. Like, I, I knew literally none of this until you just told me. Like, I, I'm, in fact, I'm kind of upset. I mean, we're friends, but, but <laughs> I mean, right now I'm, I'm kind of pissed off at you because, I mean, this is cool as shit. This is basically, this is a 380 TP9, but I mean, it is substantially smaller. We probably got a TP. Yeah, there's one right there. The size difference here, it, it's amazing. I can't believe how much smaller the 380 version is. And that's what makes it so cool. I think handling this gives you an appreciation for, for how small it is. It feels like a handgun. What's the difference, other than the caliber, between this and the regular TP9? Okay, this is just a simple blowback system. And we use an alloy top lower, uh, upper receiver to, to guide the bolt. Uh, it has a firing pin safety, it has a hammer system. It's purely semi-automatic only, there is no full auto existing. We have a threaded barrel for suppressor, but it's rather gassy when you shoot it without an RBS suppressor. And the magazines are proprietary, we did that years ago. So they're 30 round max, but frankly they work best with 28 or less. Mm -hmm. And the gun comes with, I think, three 30 round mag and one 15 round mag. And I can tell you're, you're not really thrilled about it. I, I'm thrilled about it, but I mean, this is like your redheaded stepchild. I mean, it's no. like the way you talk about it. <laughs> no, it's okay. We have no clue if we will sell, so. What are they going to sell for? $1,000, $1,200 Oh my God. I think so. so $1,000, I'll we, buy three. We try to make the price decent. Of course, the aim point will come on top. So, but that, we will try our best. Oh wait, the aim Production point. Production just runs now, and we will find out the way. To get rid of them. The aim point will not come with it at that price. No, at the moment. No, at that no, price. No, no, way. no, 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 no way. way. Yeah, the yeah. aim point alone is what yeah. six hundred dollars. No, I was just clarifying, yeah. you know, just just to be sure. But I mean, it's neat. So you've got like a little uh, charging handle up here, yeah. you know, like kind of ambi, but you you kind of grab with both fingers. I see last round bolt hold open yeah. works with this. It's like a, a Mac Eleven. You've got your like a smaller version. I mean, this is just like a, uh, a, a little baby version of the TP9. You've got your traditional folding stock, yep. but it's a smaller version, like a True. much smaller version. And, and the proportions are great. Uh, you've got, oh, I see you've got a, uh, a, a bolt release yep. right here on the left-hand side. Um, you've safety. got, yeah, safety, ambi mag release. Um, I, I mean, this is just cool, like accessory rail on it. I think that there are going to be a lot of people uh, <laughs> willing to buy this, and I, I, I think it's awesome, Carl. We will see. Oh, no, we will definitely see. Half by 28, right, yep, for, the, for the threads? Right, yep. Now, if, uh, let's say you guys decided to do this. As you said, it would probably be a pistol version, oh, right? We decided to do it, so there is... Uh, there's new, it's happening. It's happening. The production is running. We have 500 sets on the shelf somewhere. <laughs> So we will here in the building. Yes. Oh my God. So and I think we by the end of the year we plus minus ship the first one depends how assembly is busy. Probably in 2022, right? Yeah, early 23, I would say. Okay. But we don't know if somebody wants that. So there was there was no business plan behind. So uh, there's nothing wrong, Carl, with wanting something just because it's cool. And I'm telling you, like I think this is cool. I think you guys are, are going to sell a piss load of these. Just like, I mean, everything else you make. I, I love the fact that you guys are willing to do things like this in small volumes. There are a lot of bigger manufacturers out there who would, you know, we're not going to do less than 10,000. And oh, you guys yeah, are, are willing to do a few hundred yeah. copies. And they become instant collector items because they're high quality. You've got guys like me who are B&T nerds who will buy it just to have it, yeah. you know? And I, I think you are going to have a market for this. So. Thank you for being on the channel to personally walk us through this. You're welcome. I, I, I mean, I, I know you're skeptical about it, but I'm telling you, I think these things are going to sell like crazy. Put me on the, I'll be number one. Put me on the list for it. Ryan will be number two. So there, okay, you got two of them sold already. At least two are sold. <laughs> yeah, Carl, thank you. thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from B&T. I'm very excited for the TP380 to come to the U.S. market. I will be one of the first people in line to buy one. In full honesty, the prototype version that we had, maybe about every 100 rounds would have uh, a failure to feed or a failure to eject. That's something that I, I personally spoke with the engineers at B&T about. They said that they're going to work through that, get that handled before it's released to the market. In fact, that's the only reason they haven't released it. The compromise would be to add more runway, essentially to make the gun bigger, but they're trying to make it as small as possible and still reliable. I know it's funny, I know it's kind of silly, 
to think like a 380 PCC. But again, you can shove this thing literally in your pocket or a fanny pack. I'm on board, especially with say 30 rounds of defensive 90 grain ammo. I think it's gonna be pretty good. You guys heard Carl talk about it. Stay tuned. They've announced it back in whatever, 2016, 2017, but maybe, maybe 2022 or 2023, we're actually going to see it. Again, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from B&T.